If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. My dear friends, the Word of God is proclaimed at every Mass to help us live our lives as Christians, to put His Word into practice. We should listen to God and not to harden our hearts. This way, we will be able to do what He asks from us instead of what we feel like doing or what to do. This weekend, uh, the readings tell us to correct our brothers and sisters and remind us uh, to the commandment to love others as we love ourselves. When our correction is based on love and kindness and it is done nicely and respectfully, it builds up uh, the person being corrected and helps uh, that person to better him or herself, as well as to recognize his or her mistakes. And if the person in question received the correction in a humble manner, acknowledging his or her imperfections, will be thankful because will see the correction as an opportunity to grow and develop. On the other hand, Negative attitudes such as gossiping, the desire to hurt, rivalries, jealousy, vengeance, lack of mercy, and the thought that we are superior or better than others hurt and break any kind of relationship, harden our hearts and impede us from being instruments of God in the lives of those around us. Are you loving others? Have you loved yourselves? When you correct someone, how does that person receive your correction? Let us try to make the prayer of Saint Francis of Assisi a reality in our lives. Lord, Make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. May the Lord pour abundant blessings in your lives.